Hi everyone, Professor Baldwin here to show you around D2L. First, navigate to the main D2L dashboard. On this page, you should see all of your courses. First, look at these icons on the top of the screen. The most important is the waffle. This allows you to see your courses as a list, and you can select a course from here. You can even type the name of the course or the instructor and search. To the right of the waffle, we have a subscription icon. This shows alerts for anything you may have subscribed to. Immediately next to that, we have the bell icon. This tells me any updates. If I click on this, it opens a list of the updates for all of my courses. Immediately to the right of all of my courses, you see announcements. These are specifically announcements from the college. These are not the announcements for your individual courses. Now let's look at the classes I'm enrolled in. Notice that my first course has a little icon under it. This is a notification. This particular notification is for the discussion board, and the little number one tells me that there is currently one unread discussion post. If you click that discussion icon, it will take you straight to the discussion board. This is not the best way to enter your course because it takes you to the discussion board and you could miss any important information on the homepage. Instead, I encourage you to click on the name or the picture for the course. This takes you to your course homepage. Notice here that the updates for this specific class are listed. And just below that are announcements from the instructor. You can only see these announcements if you come to this homepage, so visit your homepage regularly to see what new announcements there are. Now, if I click any of these updates, they will take me to that item. We're not going to do that in this video. Next, you should watch the video on how to review your grades and feedback. Let's look near the top of the screen, just above the image for the course. Let's look at what each of these items on the navigation bar takes us to. You may not have all of these links for every course. The course home. This is where we are now. If you're in a different section of the course and want to see the announcements or any updates you may have, click the course home. To the right is the content. This is where the course materials are located. Content is organized in modules or groups of content. The number next to the module name tells you how many items are in that module. If you click on a module on the left-hand side, it opens that module in the main viewing window. The content area can also be used to organize all of the course activities, discussions, assignments, quizzes, and more. Next, we have assignments. These are submission folders. You upload an assignment into a Dropbox. You can learn more about assignments in the Uploading an Assignment video. Next, we have Discussions. Here, you can see the discussions for the course. Notice that you can collapse or expand the forums. If the discussions have an end date, they will disappear from your view at that end date. Next, we have Quizzes. If your instructor uses quizzes in D2L, you'll find those quizzes here. Now we have rubrics. This shows you any rubrics that are active in the course and being used to grade your assignments and discussions. Rubrics are important for you to understand what is expected for that assignment and how you will be graded. Grades. This is probably the most important tool in D2L. This shows your grades for the course. You can even view any comments an instructor has left. A more detailed explanation of grades and feedback is in the How to Review Feedback video. If you're in a face-to-face -face course and your instructor takes attendance, you would find that here under Attendance. Class List. This shows you all of your classmates. It's also an easy way to find your instructor and send them an email. If you click on the Class Progress link, this gives you a more detailed view of how you have progressed in the course. Not just what is graded, but any of the content or activities available. There's a lot of information in here, but it's a great place to see if you're using all of the D2L resources or not. 
the last link is more. But when you click on this, you may see even more tools. Here, I see the following. Chat. This allows me to start a chat or join an existing chat with my instructor or some of my classmates. Then, checklist. If my instructor created checklists, I would see them here. It allows me to check off items as I complete them and helps me stay on task. Below that, I have groups. If your instructor sets up groups for group assignments or discussions, you would find your group here. Below that are surveys. If there are any surveys for the course, this is where you would find them. And then the very last link, Help Desk. This link opens up a new tab and takes you to the Colorado Community College Systems Help website. Here you can find resources to help you with the main learning tools, such as email, banner, that's where you registered for your classes, and even D2L. Don't be afraid to look around your course, and if you need help, check out my other tutorial videos or ask your instructor. Now that you know how to navigate your D2L course, hopefully you won't get lost. And remember, you can always click Course Home to go back to that main course page. I hope you have a great semester. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and leave me a comment on what D2L video I should make next.